Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Gina T. I'm here with another mukbang video. What's up, guys? How are you guys? How's everything? Let me adjust my chair. I'm sorry. Are you ready to get it in? Because I am, okay? Let's get to it. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm your girl Gina Diva. Welcome to Dine with Gina Diva. If you haven't been here before, please hit that red subscribe button that you see right here so you can become one of my Dine Divas. I would love to have you, okay? So you come up bang, and chill. Hey, mukbang and chill. Hey, mukbang and chill. If you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back, my Dine Divas. Let's get to it because your girl is hungry, okay? God is good. God is great. Now I thank you for this day. Please, God, let this food that I'm about to eat may nourish my body and bless my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey. Hey. Dying Divas, we got today. Hey. Some sausage and some cucumbers. <laughs> some sausage, some cucumbers, some white rice, some beet love smack delicious sauce in my oats. I got to get it in. My rice is like falling apart. I don't know what your girl did, but you know it's not working. One, another, another, like one meaning, look at this beat. Do you like, do you like, I got my lip gloss and my lashes from It's Just Flavor. My girl Flavor Eats, go check her out to her that Gina Diva sent you, okay? Now let's get it in because I'm hungry. Ooh. Ooh, this sauce. I'm hungry. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> my rice, I mean my rice, my sausage is charred. And I like it better. I like that. I've had it where it wasn't. And it's good. Don't get me to, you know, don't get me twisted. Don't get it twisted. But. I like it better like that. I'm, I'm trying to sl not slam. Mm-hmm. My spoon, too. Mm. To the griddle. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Mm. I'm going to get an real quick guy. I put some cilantro on the rice. Can y'all see? Let me back up. Just a little. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you see me just like savage and this is banging. <clears throat> this is so good. Like If we can put this on. Mm. 
Mm. Oh my god, how rude. Oh. I haven't even gave me any. You go, this is hungry, not bad. I was craving it. For a few days. So what I did was. I go do food shopping. For the videos that. I'll be doing. You know. Instead of like doing videos day by day. How many of you guys are doing um seafood boys for Christmas? Bang him. Guys, so I want to talk about something really, 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 really important. And it's like weighing really heavy on me. It's like, you know, these things are happening, but now, you know, <clears throat> I'm just way more aware. Um, I want to spread awareness and what I'm speaking of is abduction so I don't know if you you've seen or you know or you you know watching the news that you know you have a lot of kids missing a lot of women missing and it's unfortunate, but the reality of it is they're being taken and abducted by people. Excuse me, by people. And all over. This is happening all over. And they're being abducted for their bodily organs to be sold. They're being abducted for um, sex trafficking. And the targets are women and children so I want you guys you know to be aware of this even if you don't have children if you do have children you know because I know you guys have sisters and mothers and aunts and grandmothers and women are being abducted in these white vans that you see that look like delivery you know vans um you know the sliding door vans um they look like work vans and stuff like that and all different colors now unfortunately where i live in brooklyn new york it's hitting closer to home now now children and you know females teenage females and women as well are being abducted are being missing closer and closer to my home and it's not this is not the reason why you know I, i've seen two posts the other day that said not too far like around you know my area but this is just everywhere in queens in different states and no one's talking about it 
you know and these people are you know be aware of when you in a grocery store or let's say you're going to walmart because i know a lot of people have walmart and you know you have a parking lot be aware of what's going on you know be aware of what's around you what's surrounding you who who you know i know sometimes you know over here you have people look at you and they like think that it's a problem but so what you gotta look at who is coming around you who is parking next to you what car is around you around your kids make sure your kids are next to you or if not next to you they are in front of you you know but for me it's like hold your kids down hold their hands and you know people are putting things on windshields so that way when you go to take something off your windshield and you're a female let's say you're being injected with something that's making you fall asleep or you being your nose is covered with you know a gas so that you could sleep and then they put you into these soundproof vans then nobody's gonna hear you screaming you know or anything like that so please be careful be careful T you know talk to your children i've me and my husband have talking to my son you know um over and over and over again there's you know there is said to be rumored that now you have females and little kids and also um older men that are asking for directions you know they're in the middle in the middle of a street or in the corner asking for directions and when you go approach these people like asking them if you need help they're taking you you know they're taking you oh yeah well you and when you're trying to be nice you know a good samaritan and you're taking them to the corner let's say this is what's happening you're being abducted you know it was a story of a, a, a really known supermarket and two cross streets you know on um Flushing and Myrtle Avenue where I live or you know not too far from where I live a, a supermarket food bazaar where somebody was being abducted you know you have to really pay attention it's something that's really really bad and what's going on to our females and our children you know they're being taken and now when you see all of these missing you know missing persons ads and you know or stories and they for you know 14 year old 15 year old it's like you have to really think that they really run away or this is what's happening you know they're being taken this is real this is not something that i'm just saying out of nowhere you research it watch the news pay attention this is what's going on and it's getting closer and closer and closer before it was like towns where you know not that you wouldn't know but you know towns where your doors are being kept open in the middle of the night but now it's coming to the cities where it's active cities so please you know be careful talk to your children make them aware let them know this is what's happening this is real this is not me making this up i just want you to be you know aware you have teams doing things together you know you you may think that this person in the blue car is fine and you see the van and you know and they are their team they working they're working together in florida not too long back there was a bust okay I'm gonna say maybe like around 50 people okay arrested for a sex trafficking ring and when I tell you that it was all shades and colors of people there People big, people white, people black, people with Spanish. Discuss it's disgusting because I have children. And even if I didn't have children, me just as a human, that is just disgusting. But this is what's going on in the world. And it's not only in the US, it's everywhere around the world. It's just not being spoken of. It's scary. It's scary raising children. It's scary being a woman, you know, and um, you know, growing up when you when the first time that I was aware of this was in that movie called Traffic with Catherine Zeta Jones, Michael Douglas, and um, it was about sex trafficking. This is real. This is serious, you know. Our babies are being taken. If you Google, there's been many attempts where not too long ago, a few weeks ago, a little girl was in Walmart and the mom walked away thinking like it was nothing. 
I left her in the toy aisle. And here came a man trying to take the little girl. And thankfully, the girl screamed and she kicked and she scratched him and everything. And he let her go and ran. He wound up getting caught. It was all over the news. She was nine years old. Okay? Another one I seen a little girl. She must have been four or five years old. A Chinese little girl. Okay? Being taken right in a in a place. The kid the person was walking by a business. The little girl was sitting down in the chair while the mom was talking to the person in the counter and a, a guy came in. That's how fast it happened. A guy came in and tried to grab her up and the mother fought. This is really happening and it's scary. It's disgusting. I'm I'm scared and I'm not lying. You know as much as I fight somebody back and everything like that, a man could just punch me hard realistically. You know what I mean? Get me where I can't move and knock me out. And then that's it. That's it. Taken. It's real. That's happening. Things like that are occurring. Everywhere. You have to be careful. You, you see something that... You don't know on your windshield. Listen. Go... Home. Go to somewhere you know. Where you know the people. Then take it off. But for me it's like go the hell home. Take a different route. Go be aware of what's going on. It's not only white vans, it's brown vans, it's you know, spray painted vans. I know when I was talking about this with my husband, he told me about a story that this man I guess got caught by a part or whatever. And tried to take a little girl. And they found on the top of his, one of the wheels, one of the four wheels, of a white van, they found a notebook with people, with locations, where people were, were, what was the going rate for the organs, the age, the ethnicity. This is real. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. And it's, it's scary. And everybody needs to be aware. Even if you're a man watching this, make sure that you speak with your kids, period. Speak to your sister, speak to your mother, speak to your wife, speak to your aunts, everybody. Be be aware. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to squint. Oh, my son made that guy call. You have to be aware, aware of what's going on. This is no joke. This is really happening and it's sad. Like I said, I can't stress enough how dangerous and important this is, you know? Going home. Took a different route. I'm not trying to make you paranoid at all. I'm not. But go a different route. Every day. Be mindful of who you're seeing every day. You know, even if you're seeing the same person, even if you see different people, be mindful. Be mindful. Don't go anywhere alone. You know, take the necessary precautions of pepper spray and tasers and whatever weapons are legal in your state. Because, you know, it varies from state to state. Because I know guns ain't legal in New York. So... Oh man, I'm just trying to not that not to happen. I feel like that looking down. Don't go nowhere, you know, by yourself. If you're in a bar, pay attention to your, your drink. Make sure your drink is with you at all times or with somebody that you trust. 
you know. Don't go to the bathroom alone. You got these girls, you know, trying to have one night stands and stuff like that. Um, not all of them end them good. And like I said, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to make you aware. This is what's going on. Unfortunately, this is what's going on in the world. I already spoke to my son, listen. It could be anybody asking for the time. Okay? No stop for nobody. Nobody. No one at all. I was like, how are you taking babies? How are you taking a little kid? I'm so sad, you know? I know my son thinks that we're like, be on top of him, but telling him yesterday, we well, just yesterday, I'm shocked to him. I said, Listen, I will be on top of you. You have parents that don't care. They're like, Okay, go to school. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Come home whatever time. No. Not me and my kid. No, no. Mm mm. Sometimes you want to shelter them and not, you know, say too much. But I had to, I had to tell him and I had to show him. Look. Look what's going on. This is not a game. This is not a game at all. They are taking women and children. So children being boys included. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'm so scared. Where we are now? I just feel I'm miss guy before. I'm sorry to like, you know, change the mood. But this is serious, you know. This is really serious. And it's scary. And it's disgusting and it's sad, you know. That people are really doing. People are really going to this extreme. I'm done. Please be safe out there. Be careful. So everybody and anybody you know, research it if you don't believe me. If you think I'm being crazy. Research it, you know. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please give this video a thumbs up. Thumb up, thumb it up, thumb it up. Comment down below. Let me your thoughts, your opinions. You know what mukbang you would like to see me do. 
please share this video let everybody know what your girl Gina Zoo is doing okay hit those bell the, um notification button so ping 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 so you never miss a beat when you go to Gina Diva me post a video please last but not least because I would love to have you as one of my Zan Divas please hit that red subscribe button that you see right here okay I would love to have you as one of my Zan Divas I love you guys until next video stay safe stay blessed be careful be aware pay attention to what is going on around you okay I love you peace